Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Hogwarts, The Dark Lord. No, call me Satan. Chapter 1, London. Today is the annual Hogwarts Wizarding Day. Nine and three quarters of the station was crowded with people, and there were parents who came to see off their children. Amidst the din, a small group of Aurors stood by the platform and stared nervously at the entrance of platform nine and three quarters. Perhaps affected by his nervousness, an open space with a diameter of several meters appeared around the six people. Parents of students who work in the Ministry of Magic have already recognized it. The team of Aurors in front of them were not ordinary Aurors, but elite Aurors. Strikers of the Ministry of Magic each of them has experienced countless battles, and has always been active in the forefront against dark wizards and dark wizards, but now they appear in the station. Merlin, is there going to be a big mess? Just when everyone was puzzled, a boy appeared in the wall. With slightly curly chestnut hair, dark blue pupils, firm facial features, and an extraordinary handsome appearance. Compared with other little wizards with big bags and small bags, the young man was empty-handed and seemed extremely comfortable. Wearing a decent black Hogwarts school uniform, he looked like an elegant nobleman. But what is more eye-catching is that there are two never-before-seen magical animals squatting on the boy's shoulders. They look like some kind of cats. The one on the left is purple throughout its body and eyes, and has a red gemstone embedded in its forehead. The body of the one on the right is black with gold rings. As soon as the two cute magical animals appeared, they immediately attracted the attention of many little wizards especially some girls, who can resist the charm of such a cute little animal. It's just that the small group of strikers, who were waiting for the follow-up felt as if they were facing a big enemy when they saw the boy appear and subconsciously pinch their wands. Also horrified were some powerful people in the crowd who recognized the identity of the teenager. Kyle Mephisto, a well-known figure among the upper echelons of the British magical world. No one knows where he came from. Kyle was only six years old when he first appeared in the eyes of the Aurors. That year, he killed thirteen dark wizards who plotted against him in Nocturne Alley, earning himself the reputation of Blood Demon. Since then, he has taken the mythical demon, Mephisto, as his surname. Unknown origins, unidentified, the magic she is good at is also unknown. The Aurors of the Ministry of Magic could only get a glimpse of Kyle's methods from the corpse of the dark wizard killed by Kyle. But the people killed by Kyle died in too many ways. Ice, flames, thunder, physical impacts, and even many of them died by no means at all. The only known information is that Kyle seems to have the ability to communicate with magical animals. There are always all kinds of magical animals by his side. Until last month when Kyle received his Hogwarts acceptance letter. According to incomplete statistics, at least 300 people died at Kyle's hands in five years. Nocturne Alley was originally a dark corner of the British wizarding world, and the Ministry of Magic has always been reluctant to interfere. But with the terrifying name of the Blood Demon and the age of six years old, no one can't help but think of a word when they see this combination. Third Generation Dark Lord This conclusion made the Ministry of Magic panic, and took measures against Kyle, but Kyle had entered Azkaban three times. The first time I went in was for a week when Kyle was seven years old. Azkaban blew up the night after Kyle's first day in. The prisoners and guards inside only heard a roar coming from their ears in their sleep, and then they saw the bright starry sky in the sky when they opened their eyes. Within a week, the buildings in Azkaban were bombed three times in a row. The higher-ups of the Ministry of Magic compromised and released Kyle who had insufficient evidence. The second time I went in was when Kyle was nine years old, this time only for three days. The Dementors guarding Azkaban went on strike. According to their information, Kyle has a power that makes them feel panic. They refused to re-enter Azkaban without sending Kyle away. The third time was even shorter, only going in for a day and a night, and the human guards who cooperated with the Dementors to guard Azkaban were unwilling. When a human guard saw the Dementors queuing up to worship Carl while patrolling in the middle of the night, he was scared to pee on the spot. Who can stand this? A Dementor in Azkaban surrenders to a prisoner. Maybe my human guards will receive a Dementor's kiss that night. As a last resort, the Ministry of Magic released Kyle with insufficient evidence the next day. Three times out of Azkaban, and the Ministry of Magic had absolutely nothing to do with Kyle. Everyone knew that the man was killed by Kyle, 
but there were no witnesses, let alone enough evidence at the scene. In desperation, the Ministry of Magic could only conceal Kyle's news to avoid causing too much panic in the wizarding society. Otherwise, what else can I do? You can't kill a little wizard without enough evidence, right? The gesture of the person lost by the forceful action will surely expose this matter to the public eye. At that time, the leaders of this Ministry of Magic will be nailed to the pillar of shame in history. Even after the fact explanations are not convincing, people only see what they want to see. They'll just think it's an excuse for the Ministry of Magic to justify their crimes. As for sending into Azkaban for the fourth time. Stop it. The Dementors surrendered. The higher-ups of the Ministry of Magic could even imagine the lively scene when Kyle arrived in Azkaban and the Dementors lined up to welcome his return of the king. Kyle Mephisto. A small group of Auror Strikers stood in front of Kyle, led by Captain Pico Flint with a stern face. Good morning, Mr. Flint. Kyle had a big smile on his face, not at all annoyed by the group of Aurors blocking the way in public. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were waiting for me here. If I knew, I would come over earlier and bring you breakfast by the way. Looking at the polite Kyle in front of him, Pico Flint not only did not relax his vigilance. Instead, he squeezed even harder the magic wand covered by his robe to ensure that he could cast the spell immediately. The prestige of Blood Devil was forged with more than 300 fresh lives. There are many powerful black wizards in it. Don't be so nervous, I'm just a little wizard preparing to enter school. I don't know how to kill people. If you don't believe me, go to Nocturne Alley and ask. Who doesn't know that I, Kyle, am a good and helpful little wizard? Kyle saw the nervousness of the small group of Auror Strikers in front of him, shrugged and smiled reassuringly. Besides, nervousness will affect your magic performance. What if you miss it? There are so many little wizards and innocent parents here. This may be the first time that the Auror Strikers were so comforted by the mission target when they went out on missions. Pixar was even more gloomy. He caught Kyle's flamboyant undertones. There are so many innocent people here, you can't take responsibility if you do something. I have come to carry Minister Fudge's warning that Hogwarts is a great school of wizardry. Headmaster Dumbledore is the greatest white wizard of the century, and he will not tolerate any evil in his school. With a stern face, Pierce said the Ministry of Magic's warning. It's just that Kyle interrupted him before he finished speaking. So, my principal is the greatest white wizard of this century. What does it have to do with fudge? This is my principal. Kyle took out the acceptance letter from the pocket where he had cast the untraceable stretching charm. Or does Minister Fudge want to go back to Hogwarts? Hicks opened his mouth, not knowing what to say. Maid. It sounds so reasonable. Kyle looked at Pixar with nothing to say. The smile on his face grew brighter. I just like the way you can't understand me and dare not hit me. If there's nothing else, I'll go first. The train is about to start, and I don't think Mr. Flint wants to see a piece of news in the Daily Prophet tomorrow about the Ministry of Magic preventing Hogwarts freshmen from enrolling. Please, Pixar almost squeezed out this sentence through his teeth. In fact, he also felt that Fudge had lost his wits in asking him to pass on the message. Will the famous, blood demon, of Nocturne Alley be afraid of a warning from the Minister of Magic? Merlin, is this an Eastern Night Tale or a Western Night Tale? Under the, farewell, of several Auror Strikers, Kyle got on the train on his own, found an empty box and sat down. I didn't expect Dumbledore to actually let me enroll. With a murmur, Kyle couldn't help but laugh. System list my attribute list. Emotional treasure box system. Host. Kyle. Race. Human. Old six. Age. Eleven years old. Talent. Heart of black magic. Affinity for fantastic beasts. Magic. Death curse. LV max. Crucitus curse. LV max. Imperious curse. LV max. Etc. Pets. Sun elf. Moon elf. Winged bat. Dot dot dot. That's right. Kyle is a time traveler he crossed over to this world five years ago. How to cross is not important. After the important crossing, he appears in Nocturne Alley, orphaned at the age of six. Nocturne Alley this place, we all know, killing, chaos, disorder. In order to save his life, he could only take out the wand he had snatched. Yes, Kyle is a nice guy. Although he killed, set fire, and sometimes robbed. But he's still a good guy. 
just like those nightclub girls in my previous life. Although I smoke, drink and go to nightclubs, I am still a good girl. Who dares to say no? Understand Avada Kedavra. Dot dot dot. As for the system, it was activated as soon as Carl crossed over. Emotional Treasure Chest System. As the name suggests, as long as others have violent mood swings, treasure chests can be generated. The greater the mood swing, the higher the level of the treasure chest. The quality of treasure chests can be divided into five levels, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and supreme. Inside you can find all kinds of treasures, talents, magic, and even pets that are not available in the magic world. Honestly, Nocturne Alley, this system couldn't be more useful. After all, there is no greater emotional swing than death. The talent of Heart of Dark Arts was automatically integrated after Kyle collected countless talents related to black magic in Nocturne Alley. Simply put, that is, the magic of the whole person is blackened, greatly increasing the power of magic. As for why you came to school, based on Kyle's observations and conjectures, this chest system also has a hidden rule. That is, if it is a character in the original story, there is a greater chance that a higher level treasure chest will pop out. Excuse me, is there anyone here? Um, I mean the other cars are full. It is summing up the harvest of the past five years. The carriage door was pushed open. A little kid with freckles pushed open the door. Followed by a boy with a lightning scar on his head. The famous savior and his friend. Ronald Weasley. Please, Kyle said casually. He didn't have a good opinion of the savior, and he didn't have any bad feelings. Pure sense of passers-by, let alone be a nanny. But, what level of emotional box can a savior's blood pressure spike bring? Oh, thank you so much, my name is Ronald Weasley, and he is Harry Potter. You must have heard his name, right? Ronald proudly showed off as soon as he entered the car. By the way, I don't know your name yet. Kyle. Hello, Kyle, are these two cats yours? They look, I mean they look regal. Ronald looked at the two Pokemon from the Pokemon world on Kyle's shoulder. Sun Elves and Moon Elves. This is the only two diamond chests that have been opened so far. Not only is it good looking, but its strength is also extraordinary. It's just a pity, the two elves glanced at Ronald with disdain, and then turned their heads away. Ugly, you don't deserve to be my friend. Ronald. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. At this moment, the system's notification sounded. May I ask if you want to open the treasure chest? On, Kyle murmured inwardly. Ding. Congratulations to the host for opening the silver treasure chest and obtaining the floating spell. It is detected that the host has learned the floating spell and converted it into experience points. Congratulations to the host for upgrading the floating spell. Current level 557. There are 10 levels of spells. Level 3 or above can be proficiently released. Level 5 can cast spells silently. Level 7 can cast spells without a staff. As for the 10th level, it is to completely master all the principles of this magic. Various variants can be studied. Worthy of being one of the three members of the protagonist group, just a simple emotion, and the silver treasure chest exploded directly. There are many black wizards in Knockdown Alley, but a white treasure chest does not appear until they die. Don't worry, these two elves have bad personalities, they only like to play with good-looking people. Kyle spoke reassuringly. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. As soon as the voice fell, the system notification sounded again. Ronald looked resentful. Are you sure you're comforting someone? Kyle, you are the same, I mean you are also the child of a wizarding family. At this time, the savior Harry Potter spoke to ease the embarrassment. Of course, though I don't know who my parents are. Kyle shrugged. Are you an orphan too? Harry Potter's eyes lit up. Really, me too. Hagrid took me to Diagon Alley, and I found that everyone knew me. Looks like he respects me. But I don't know why, maybe it's my parents. Do you know about my parents? Since no one told you, then I think someone wants you to understand it yourself. Maybe after you get to Hogwarts and meet that person who values you very much, you will gradually know everything. Kyle shrugged. 
Of course he knew, but he didn't mean to spoil it. Oh, well, can you do magic then? This, Kyle hadn't thought that Harry Potter had the potential to be talkative. I will. Ronald, who was very eager to express himself, couldn't wait to speak. George once taught me a spell, but I can't use it, maybe now, do you want to see it? With that, he took out his wand. It was a second-hand one, so worn out that the unicorn hair on its tail was showing. Ronald was waving his wand and was about to cast a spell when the door of the box opened suddenly. Did any of you see a toad? Neville lost a toad. A little girl with messy hair but delicate features came in. It is the last one in the Iron Triangle. Hermione Granger. Are you doing magic? Do you mind if I take a look too? Hermione was immediately interested when she saw Ronald waving his wand. All right. Ronald cleared his throat and began to chant the incantation. Daisies, sweet cream and sunshine, turn this silly fat mouse yellow. A moment later, nothing happened. Banbon, bon, the mouse who was sleeping, raised his head and glanced at Ronald, as if looking at a mentally handicapped person. The little lowly who was watching also had an expression of, what are you doing? Are you sure it's a real spell? Doesn't look like much. Speaking of this, Hermione's mouth curled up. I also tried a few simple spells at home, and they all worked. For example, repair it. The next moment, Harry Potter's broken glasses were suddenly repaired. How is it? Isn't it good? Little Loli raised her head slightly. I've helped adults fix a lot of things at home with this spell. Kyle, will you do magic like this? Harry Potter didn't respond to Hermione's words, but looked at Kyle instead. He sensed a faint air about Kyle. Like the godfather in the movie. It's not a simple character at first glance. The restoration curse, this is a very simple magic, and many little wizards can do it. Perhaps I think it's a bit difficult to cast this simple spell without a wand, at least it needs to be cast silently. Kyle shrugged. The simpler the spell, the less experience points are needed to upgrade it. His repair spell has been upgraded to LV8. You can cast spells without a wand. Little lowly Hermione immediately looked at Kyle unconvinced. Pouted. She saw it in a book. Casting spells without a wand is a skill that only the most powerful wizards can master. This little wizard must be bragging. Oh, look, Goyle, what do I hear? Here is a young wizard who has not yet entered school and said that he has mastered casting spells without a staff. Before Hermione could speak, the door of the carriage was pushed open again. This time it was a boy with blonde hair. His face was pale, and his facial features were harsh. The two servants who came in behind were burly and silly looking. Have to. The famous scene is coming. Kyle instantly had a sense of deja vu to witness the plot. Look at the people in this carriage, two mudbloods. Anyone from the Weasleys that's worse than a mudblood. Malfoy's gaze swept over the three of them, and finally landed on Harry Potter's face. Harry Potter, the famous savior. I think you should know what kind of people are good for you to make friends with. Casting spells without a stick. That's a high-end spell casting skill that my father couldn't master. Then, Malfoy looked at Kyle contemptuously. The Malfoy family are staunch supporters of the pure blood theory. He knew all the pure blood family peers in England and even France, but there was absolutely no Kyle among them. The three of Harry Potter also looked at Kyle at the same time. They all wanted Kyle to slap Malfoy in the face hard. Okay, since you all want to watch. Kyle looked indifferent. As he spoke, he snapped his fingers casually. Next second. Boom. All the glass on the entire Hogwarts Express was shattered. The autumn in England in September is cold, and the cold wind blows into the carriage. The screams and commotion in the corridor could be heard through the door of the carriage. I don't know how many little wizards were stunned by the sudden cold wind. The expression on Malfoy's face froze immediately. The mouth opened and closed slightly, wanting to speak, but didn't know what to say. What the hell are you telling me this is a little wizard who hasn't entered school yet? The little lowly Hermione was also in a daze. Well, you tell me it's a repair spell. Hey, as you can see, since I'm going to demonstrate the restoration charm, I must destroy things first and then restore them. Kyle coughed dryly. The talent of this, heart of black magic, is good. Any killing curse can explode with three times the power. Just a little, he will also automatically blacken with serious magic. It seems that there is no need for snacks today. Honestly, 
I find it hard to believe that someone can use a magic wand for such a simple spell. Kyle glanced at Malfoy, who was staring blankly. He decided to show him what the real healing spell is, for this reason, he recited the spell this time. Restored. As soon as the voice fell, this time it was a series of roaring sounds. Honey Zizatang, Mau Mau Ya Mints, Chocolate Frog, does anyone need some snacks? On the aisle of the train, an old woman was pushing a cart and selling goods. The car is full of snacks. She is a clerk at Honeyduke's Candy Shop. Every year when Hogwarts starts school, they will come to the train to sell snacks and desserts. This year is no exception. I'm walking. Suddenly a series of roars sounded. I saw the ceilings on the carriages of the Hogwarts Express suddenly fly up. It turned into meteors and flew across the sky. The warm sunshine in autumn is accompanied by the cold wind. The old lady who was pedaling immediately caught her. Well, can anyone tell me what happened? What about the ceiling that was fine just now? Dot dot dot. In the compartment, the protagonist trio and the Malfoy trio were also stunned. Let's just say, the current Hogwarts Express. Forget it without windows. He doesn't even have a top, do you think he's amazing? It's like a dilapidated dilapidated house running on the rails. The three of Malfoy were so frightened that their legs went limp. Really, this destructive power, you said he was a little wizard who didn't go to school. Ding, startled emotion detected. Ding, the treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding, startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. At the same time, more than 20 system prompts sounded in Kyle's mind. Although there are a lot of bronze and silver treasure chests, the victory lies in the large quantity and the fullness. It's Hogwarts. What a place. Kyle quietly hugged the sun elf in his arms as a big heater to keep warm. Then a, harmless to humans and animals, smile appeared on his face. Well, a little embarrassing. This, heart of black magic, talent seems to be able to blacken all spells. Ding. Friendly reminder to the host. The, heart of black magic, talent can be turned on or off by human control. At this moment, a system prompt sounded in Kyle's mind. Maid, what about the knife? Where is my knife? Dog system, do you dare to run out by yourself? I promise to save your life. Dot dot dot. Oh, look, as you can see, since I want to show the restoration spell, I must do a little more damage to show the power of the spell, right? Kyle perked up all of a sudden. It's time to perform. Time to show them a real healing spell. Then next. Ding. Startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. Before he finished speaking, another treasure chest exploded, which exploded from Malfoy. Diamond treasure chest. Malfoy's calves were shaking with fear. Nima, are you still here? After a while, is there only a row of wheels left on the rails running there? Kyle, is this your restoration charm? Sitting in the wind howling, ruthless Hogwarts Express. Little Lolita Hermione couldn't recover for a long time. Are you sure it's a, repair spell, and not a, destroy spell? Of course not, isn't this a destruction curse specially used so that you can see my level of repairing spells? Kyle maintains his, master, persona. He obviously wanted to turn off his talent to show off his real healing spell, but he was desperately blocked. It's all right. Oh, so it's really a breaking spell. Little lowly Hermione breathed a sigh of relief. If the real, healing spell, is like this, then the magic world is really terrible. If you say spiral ascension, you will directly spiral to heaven. Who can stand this? But why haven't I seen it in the textbook? Textbook. Kyle looked surprised. Should someone really learn the magic in the textbook? Aren't you little wizards from a wizarding family? Kyle summed it up. Such a thing as earning a treasure chest of emotions. It is necessary to have the excellent qualities of perseverance, indomitable, unrestrained, and bottomless. The specific methods will be subdivided into more than a dozen small subjects such as intimidation, kidnapping, and crime. I, I'm not, 
Hermione was a little confused. What does this have to do with wizarding families? No wonder, if you are a wizard family, you should receive preschool education. Like a muggle, I know something about them. Muggles in ordinary families adopt a method called happy education, indulging children in all kinds of fun and enjoying childhood. But muggles from aristocratic families will adopt elite education. They will hire the best teachers for their children since childhood. The courses are full of courses. The same goes for wizarding families. In a word, several little wizards in the carriage were dumbfounded. You mean, Hermione had a look of disbelief on her face. She has been an excellent student since she was a child, and the thing she fears most is failing the exam. So I started previewing various courses before the start of school, and even memorized more than half of the textbooks. Result, yes, in fact, Hogwarts textbooks are specially written for children from muggle families. Little wizards who come from real wizarding families, they have experienced various elite education since childhood. Actually, it's not too difficult. You know the Lihan bookstore in Diagon Alley, right? It's almost like memorizing half of the books in Lihan bookstore. Those who are a little more powerful will be proficient in using advanced spells such as the Patronus charm when they enter school. Kyle was serious, without batting an eyelid. Just kidding, two lifetimes, when did the young master blink when he told nonsense? Ronald, Harry Potter quickly looked at his new friend. He knew Ronald was from a wizarding family. But he found that Ronald was also in a daze. Wait, no, why did I? Ronald wanted to speak in defense. It's just that I can't say anything before I finish talking. At this moment, Ronald thought of his family. His older brothers. Bill is the head boys. Charlie is the captain of the Quidditch team. Now Percy is a prefect. Fred and George have top grades despite being known to be mischievous at school. Alchemy has been recognized by many professors. Having said that, it immediately makes sense why they are so good. It turns out that children born in wizarding families will receive various preschool education since childhood. As for why I didn't receive this kind of education, Ronald, who felt that he was the least valued at home since he was a child, suddenly thought of his younger sister, Ginny Weasley, who was born only one year later than him. Case solved. It must be that parents have been busy educating Ginny all the time and just abandoned themselves. So did Malfoy. Let's not talk about his two followers, Clark and Goyle, whose brains are not much stronger than trolls. Every time the pure blood families get together, those Hogwarts students act like elites. And Pansy always brags to herself about the magic she has learned every time she meets her. I thought he was really bragging before. The more Malfoy thought about it, the colder he became. It seems that there are still a few times when my father wants to teach me some family magic knowledge. Because I am playful, I refuse to learn. Why don't you know how to hold on? Just let me be playful just because I am playful. Isn't this habit like killing a child? For a moment, a cloud of cloud enveloped the entire carriage. Ding. Startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Startled emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Kyle quietly harvested three golden treasure chests. I think we should ask the seniors. In the end it was Hermione who managed to calm herself down. Be sure to investigate this matter. She didn't expect that Hogwarts school would directly become the tail of the crane. We can go to George and friend, they must know what's going on here. Ronald suggested. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go, I don't want to be the last one. Hermione and Ronald immediately agreed. Even Malfoy gritted his teeth and followed. Hogwarts Express. The uncovered train is still running. In a carriage. George and friend put on whatever clothes they could find. In fact, except in the third grade in the original book, Lupine took the Hogwarts Express to school because he was late. Basically, teachers will apparate to Hogsmeade Village in advance. Then walk back to school. This saves most of the day. So when it was found that the glass and the ceiling were gone, the little wizards on the train were in a commotion for a while. 
finally got too cold. They went back to find their clothes. Dot dot dot. What? Can you memorize at least half of the books in Lihan Academy before entering school? You also need to be proficient in using advanced magic such as the Patronus charm. After listening to Ronald's words, the two let out an exclamation at the same time. Then look at each other. They all saw the excitement in each other's eyes. What a genius idea for a prank. George, Flander, are you exclaiming? So it's fake. Noticing the demeanor of the two, Ronald felt like he was alive after a catastrophe. Oh no, of course not. George shook his head solemnly. I thought you'd know. No way. Didn't your mother give you preschool education? The faces of the trio turned pale. Then what are you going to do with your branch assessment? Flender cooperated with a surprised expression. Branch examination. Of course, don't you know? Hogwarts is the greatest magic school, bar none. How can such a school recruit any student casually? You know, even the wizarding world has a lot of bad ones. Then, can I ask about the content of the branch examination? Little Lolita Hermione felt like she was suffocating. Oh, don't worry, it's not very rare, and usually it won't kill anyone. George shrugged. Correct me, George, three freshmen who hadn't entered school died in last year's assessment. But that's already considered good. The freshmen had to face 20 werewolves in the Forbidden Forest the year before last, and a full third of them died. No, the year we started learning was not easy. The students had to fight giant monsters in the arena, and seven or eight little wizards died. Listening to the twins' discussion, the three little legs became weaker and weaker. Is this Hogwarts? This is simply the Roman arena. This is no longer a matter of shame, it is a matter of life. Maybe we should ask someone else. Ronald paled. Come with me, I know some senior students. Malfoy temporarily put aside the feud between the Malfoy family and the Weasley family for an unknown number of years. At this time, life saving is the most important thing. After a while, the three stepped out of a carriage filled with fifth year Slytherin snakes. Despair was written all over his face. As fifth year students, these Slytherins knew a lot more than George and Flanders. Tell them in detail about the Hogwarts admission assessment every year for the past 20 years. For example, go to the lair of thousands of giant arachnids to retrieve a gold coin that has been hidden in advance. For example, a duel with a fire dragon in a closed and narrow space. For example, if you are kissed by a dementor, you can only enter school if you survive, etc. Hi, how are you? I'm Flower John, are you freshmen too? When I was about to go back to the carriage, I suddenly ran into a strange little wizard who greeted me enthusiastically. There are not a few little wizards like this who want to make more friends before school starts. Except for a few fans of pure blood theory, most people will respond enthusiastically. This time, can you defeat a dragon? Can you fight a troll hand to hand? Can you sneak into the Acromantula's lair alone? Little Lolita Hermione's three questions directly fooled Flower. He is also a young wizard from a wizard family. It's just that even adult wizards can't do these things, right? Well, it looks like you haven't experienced preschool education either. Then, I wish you good luck in the upcoming sorting exam. Hermione gave him a pitying look. I mean, I hope you survive. After finishing speaking, the three of them left dejectedly. Dot dot dot. Merlin, I have to find someone to ask. Flower swallowed. Soon, rumors about the freshman assessment spread in the Hogwarts Express. When the newly enrolled young wizards heard the news, they immediately went to verify the senior students they knew. These seniors who were asked heard questions were all a response. First amazed, then excited. Finally, he pretended to be surprised. The opening is like, is there anyone who can't even do this? Terrorizing new students is an annual tradition at Hogwarts. Even parents will not tell their children the specific details of the sorting. But in previous years, they just made up some things like exams to scare the scumbags. How can it be so fun this year? This is simply beyond the imagination of ordinary people. One by one, the first-year freshmen were trembling with fright. Many senior students began to enthusiastically help their juniors to analyze the most likely content of this sorting examination. What school organizes freshmen to go to Nurmengard to fight Grindelwald one by one through the portkey? What a duel with Dumbledore. Not even Voldemort escaped. In the mouths of these seniors, 
Voldemort was imprisoned in the depths of Hogwarts Castle, and he was preparing to test the new students one day. It was said that if he killed a hundred newborns, Dumbledore would set him free and so on. The news was spread in an orderly manner, and there were also witnesses who swear that they had seen it. The whole Hogwarts fell into a sea of despair and joy. Evening, corridor outside the Great Hall of Hogwarts Castle. Dumbledore was lazy. Dumbledore, I've been looking for you all day, and I think I must have a serious talk with you. You know what I'm trying to say. About that child. I don't know exactly what prompted you to admit him. Snape's face was so sullen that he could drip water. This year is, the year of enrollment. At this time, you let a demon into the school. In order to improve your ridiculous savior training plan. He has been in Nocturne Alley since he was six years old. His hands were stained with the blood of at least 300 people. What is this concept? It can be said that in the past few years, the black wizards in Nocturne Alley have basically been killed. He couldn't imagine what would happen when such a person came to Hogwarts. Oh, Severus, calm down. That's just a rumor, trust me, that kid is not as bad as you think. Dumbledore shrugged, a smile on his face. Not as bad as I thought. He even went into Azkaban three times. But that's an illegal ministry operation, isn't it? They have no proof. Personally, I still believe that there is kindness in everyone's heart. As teachers, we need to be guided correctly. Kindness, huh, Snape's eyes were still dark. Have you seen a picture of that man? He looks like when he was young. Of course, it's because of seeing the photos that I firmly believe that his two pets are really nice. One of them feels like, how should I put it, it's as warm as the sun. To be recognized by such a partner, I don't need to say more about what it means. As for your resemblance to that person, the pure blood families in the magic world are all related. There is nothing to say about it. If you look closely, you will find that there are only three points of similarity. And his name appeared in the book of admission, you know, this is a rule that Hogwarts has continued for an unknown number of years. Even if I'm the principal, I can't stop him from enrolling. Fantastic animals in the wizarding world are all spiritual. Like the phoenix of the Dumbledore family, not every family member will be recognized by the phoenix. Only those with a kind heart and strong magic power can do it. That's why Dumbledore was sure there was a good side to Kyle's character. But don't worry, I will keep an eye on that child. But, no but, Severus, I'm the headmaster, Dumbledore pushed his glasses. Ended the conversation. HMPH, you will definitely regret it. Leaving a word coldly, Snape flung his cloak and left like a bat flying close to the ground. Regret, Dumbledore shook his head. I have taught for half my life. There was indeed one time to say that I regretted it. That was when Voldemort's shadow loomed over the wizarding world. But it is different from what ordinary people think. Regret wasn't for not killing Voldemort before he had grown up. It's why he failed to guide him well from the beginning. From Dumbledore's point of view, Kyle's talent and strength far surpassed Voldemort's. The most valuable is, his kindness is clearly visible. What bad things can a little wizard do under his nose? Dot dot dot, Hogwarts platform, Hagrid held a lamp and stood there like a wall. Welcoming freshmen is a job he repeats every year. Year after year, I've been familiar with it for a long time. Nothing was too difficult for him. Soon, the roar of the train sounded from afar. A long black dragon can be vaguely seen approaching on the rails. It was the Hogwarts Express. Hagrid straightened his expression. He raised the oil lamp. As a half-blood giant, he craves the approval of others even more. For this reason, he squeezed out a little smile. It's just this smile, as the train entered the station, it immediately froze. Or, can this also be called a train? It doesn't matter if there are no windows. But what about the roof of the train? Can anyone tell me what's going on? The car stopped, and the little wizards got off one by one. It was different from wearing black wizard robes in previous years. These little wizards wrapped themselves up one by one. He sniffed his nose from time to time. It's been freezing all the way. Eight out of ten of these little wizards have caught a cold. Okay, first year freshmen, first year freshmen come here. Hagrid cleared his throat and got to work, calling for the first-year freshmen to come over. They need to take a boat to wash away the way when the four founders of Hogwarts entered the castle. In order to conclude a magic contract, 
get the protection of the castle. In previous years, as long as you shouted, new students would come over, but this time. Wow, I'm not going to Hogwarts. Whoa, I want to go home. Mom, there are giants, and I don't want to fight giants. As soon as Hagrid finished speaking, there was a burst of crying in front of him. Giant, where are the giants? Hagrid looked around unconsciously. A moment later, hiss, these freshmen are a bit impolite. Hagrid has had many classes of freshmen. Most of them are curious about Hogwarts. With a little excited expression on his face. The very few who are timid are also silent. But like this kind of crying on a large scale. This is really the first time I saw it. The brain of being cried is buzzing. Oh, I think you misunderstood me, I'm not a giant. I'm a mixed race. Although he didn't want to admit it, Hagrid patiently explained. Even though it sounds loud. But where is the physique after all? The voice is much louder than ordinary people. Wow, half-blood giant, that's terrifying. I don't want to participate in the branch assessment. I want to go home. After saying a word, the crying became even more tragic. Hagrid, dot dot dot. That's when Kyle got off the train too. Carrying a messenger bag. It's a bag that has been cast with the untraceless stretch technique and it contains part of Kyle's belongings. Hogwarts is home to the greatest white wizard of the century. It's very safe inside, so Kyle didn't bring much stuff with him compared to when he was in Nocturne Alley. That is, some poisons, as well as self-made hidden weapons and magic props. There are also some guns and ammunition he has collected from the muggle world over the years. Pistols, rifles, machine guns, grenades, bazookas, and a small mushroom bomb. Kyle is not a person with a sense of crisis. What is persecution paranoia? Non-existent. So he didn't prepare too much, and he could equip half a regiment if he was so-so. It brought a little excitement to Kyle's face. He even whistled softly in his mouth. It can be said that it was a wave of fat on the train just now. There are already more than 100 treasure chests stored in the system. They were all bronze to silver, and the only diamond chest was popped by Malfoy. I have to say that Hogwarts is really a good place. There is an old saying in the previous life. There must be more celebrations in a family of good deeds. People are doing it, and the sky is watching. If you are kind all your life, you will be blessed. As long as you maintain this quality of kindness in yourself. There will definitely be more and more treasure chests in the future. Dot dot dot. Okay whatever you think, come with me. Hagrid muttered something, then finally spoke up. Freshmen need to go to Hogwarts by boat. A group of weak and helpless little wizards followed Hagrid tremblingly after hearing this. Groups of four boarded the boat. Kyle also kept up with the flow. I didn't see the trio, maybe I was discussing with Neville on a certain boat how to save my life. On the same boat were three people whom they had never seen before. Everyone, keep your heads down. When they came to a cliff, everyone lowered their heads when they heard Hagrid's reminder. Only Kyle was still sitting. Looking up, there is at least a meter of space above. Look at those little wizards who can't wait to put their bodies on the boat. No, do you have any misunderstanding about your height? Dot dot dot. Passing through the cliff hole, you came to a place similar to a pier below the castle. A witch with a serious expression and a green robe was already waiting on the shore. It was Professor McGonagall. Hagrid, is everything going well? Professor McGonagall caught sight of the big Hagrid on the forward ship. Should, be kind. Hagrid got up from the boat and walked ashore. Should, still, smoothly, Professor McGonagall was taken aback by the answer. Turning his head to look at the little wizards who just entered school, it was too dark on the river just now. Now that everyone has gone ashore, Professor McGonagall found out. Good guy. Everyone is full of snot and tears. The snot is cold, and the tears are crying. Most were still sobbing quietly. Okay, children, welcome to Hogwarts. Before entering the school, we need a sorting ceremony. Professor McGonagall took a deep breath and began to talk about the opening remarks once a year. Speaking of the sorting ceremony. Wow, I don't want to participate in the branch assessment. It's a witch. In fairy tales, old witches can trick children away. I want to go home. This moment, Professor McGonagall finally knew why Hagrid said it went well. How did this go so well? Taking a stern look around, he saw the relaxed faces in the crowd at the last glance. 
even Kyle, who was still whistling. Just now, three bronze and two silver treasure chests burst out. It took half a day to catch up with him working in Nocturne Alley for half a year. Kyle was being reserved for not singing a good day on the spot. He accidentally caught Professor McGonagall's stern gaze. The four eyes are facing each other. Feel the questioning, condemnation, and criticism in the other person's eyes. Kyle thought he should do something. After all, he is also a member of Hogwarts. Don't cry anymore. Since your parents sent you to school, it means they don't want you anymore. Let's think about how to participate in the branch examination for a while. There was a three-second silence at the sound of Kyle's voice. Then, the decibels tripled all of a sudden. Ding. Anger detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. A diamond chest that only Kyle can see, shining like a diamond, emerges from Professor McGonagall. Hall of the Auditorium. He heard crying faintly from outside. The senior students burst into laughter instantly. The twins fell under the long table laughing. Dumbledore sat on the teaching bench and saw the roar of laughter. Although he didn't know what happened, he couldn't help but smile. Look, what a passionate evening. What a dynamic group of students. It doesn't get any better than this. Next second. The castle gate was opened by Professor McGonagall, and there were cries from outside. The smile on old Deng's face froze. How, what a miserable group of freshmen crying. Dumbledore, something happened, I'll tell you later. Let's do the sorting ceremony first. Professor McGonagall hurried over to the staff and whispered to Dumbledore. All right, dot dot dot. Accompanied by low sobs, the sorting hat sang a song that hadn't changed for many years. Um, smelly and long. The voice is high-pitched. It's hard to hear. After singing, the sorting ceremony officially began. Professor McGonagall held a piece of parchment in his hand. Next, the students whose names I read come forward and put on their hats and wait for the sorting. Hannah Abbott, a little girl with a ruddy complexion and two golden braids stumbled out of the queue and came to the sorting hat. Watching nervously, are you going to hurt me? Don't worry, I'm just a hat with no function other than talking. The vigilance in Hannah's eyes did not weaken at all. Is there something hidden in your body, such as some sharp swords, as long as I wear you, it will pierce me. The sorting hat, how did this little girl know that the Gryffindor sword was hidden on her body? Well, boy, Hogwarts won't hurt little wizards. Professor McGonagall said helplessly from the side. We're hurrying up. Okay, the little girl with braids carefully touched the sorting hat all over. Then put it on your head. The sorting hat, so this year's young wizards are so cautious. Hufflepuff. A moment later the sorting hat yelled. Hufflepuff on the right immediately burst into applause and cheers. With the first head start, the rest will be much faster. Every freshman whose name is called comes up and puts on a hat. Susan Burns. Hufflepuff. Terry Boot. Ravenclaw. One by one, the freshmen were assigned to the four colleges. As soon as Malfoy put the hat on, the sorting hat called out, Slytherin. The main trio are also assigned to Gryffindor. There was a deafening cheer from the Gryffindor table. Kyle Moe. Soon, it was Kyle's turn. Professor McGonagall paused when he said the last name. In the end, the surname that symbolized the devil in hell was not kicked out. I'm here. Kyle raised his hand high. Wearing a black wizard robe, handsome and three-dimensional facial features. There was a sunny smile on his face. His handsome appearance immediately attracted the attention of most of the little witches present. They looked at Kyle with red hearts in their eyes. On the shoulders stand two elves. So cute. Dot dot dot. Go to the sorting hat. Kyle was also full of curiosity. Sorting. This is the link where the quality of a little wizard can be seen most directly. But where would a kind little wizard like himself be assigned? Hufflepuff or the sorting hat discovering the courage that lies within itself. Maybe assigning himself to Gryffindor. It is also possible to discover your intellectual curiosity. Let yourself join Ravenclaw as a kitty seeking truth. As for the Slytherins, who, how could such a kind wizard like himself go to Slytherin? Many people on the four long tables were also looking at Kyle curiously. Especially the teachers on the staff who know Kyle's identity. They were all curious which house Kyle would be assigned to. It's Kyle, I don't know which school he will be assigned to. 
Harry whispered to Ronald. I have a feeling he might be in Slytherin. Ronald curled his lips. The two of them have already reacted. On the train, it was obvious that he had been fooled. Still kind of flickering. Dot dot dot. Thinking wildly in his mind, Kyle picked up the sorting hat and put it on his head. Azkaban. Must be Azkaban. In the next second, the sorting hat seemed to have been greatly frightened. Screamed loudly. The moment the sorting hat was put on Kyle's head, the world in front of him suddenly changed. Dark. Evil. Blood. Merlin up. It has been in Hogwarts for so many years, and it has never seen such a pure little wizard who is black. For a moment, he even forgot about the sorting, and just yelled, Azkaban. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. A treasure chest was exploded. It was eerily quiet in the hall of the auditorium. Everyone opened their mouths wide in surprise. Who is this? Did the sorting hat hit Azkaban with a stick? Faculty chair. Everyone looked at each other in blank dismay. There was already an uproar on the four long tables below. Snape looked directly at Dumbledore with a grim expression. Is this what you mean by kindness? Old Dang pushed his glasses and stood up. This is probably the first time this has happened since the establishment of the school. A young wizard who just entered school was assigned to Azkaban. As the principal, he must stand up to preside over the overall situation and maintain order. Quiet. First, I gave myself a loud voice, magic. The voice covered the noisy discussions of the little wizards below. Then Dumbledore turned to look at Kyle. Kyle, I think you need to. Old Dang originally wanted to ask why the sorting hat would sort Kyle into Azkaban. As a result, the words were not finished. I saw Carl violently pulling the hat off his head and holding it in his hands. Principal, I want to sue. You sorted us with some old hats. It's not fair. I'm such a kind little wizard, he actually assigned me to Azkaban. It took a huge toll on my young mind. Compensation, the school must compensate me. It's over. Looking at Kyle with an angry expression on his face. Everyone froze. Dumbledore felt a little out of his wits. Hiss. Brain pain. Well, didn't I come to ask you? How did you sue? This sorting hat has a history of more than a thousand years, and he has never made a mistake. What? Over a thousand years? Professor, is there a warranty for this sorting hat? Is there annual routine maintenance and inspection? As soon as the words fell, Kyle immediately showed a, how could this be? Expression. Ding. Crash emotions detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dumbledore. It looks so reasonable. Dot dot dot. Ahem. I think it's a misunderstanding. Dumbledore coughed dryly. What did I want to say before? Forget it. Let's talk about it alone. You can't really let the sorting hat send a little wizard to Azkaban. Okay, boy, now put on the sorting hat again, and we'll do it all over again. All right, Kyle accepted it as soon as it was good. The days to come are still long. It's a pity that no treasure chest above diamonds was revealed. Pick up the sorting hat. Kyle clenched his fists, suddenly feeling something was wrong. There seems to be something in it. With the thought of exploring, Kyle put his hand into the sorting hat. A moment later, a sword studded with rubies was drawn. The cold light flickered. The name of Godric Gryffindor is also engraved on the sword body. My god, what is that? A sword, there is actually a sword hidden in the sorting hat. The young wizards who had just entered the season were directly frightened. They put hats on their heads just now. Dumbledore and the professors who knew the origin of the sword were also stunned. If the sorting hat yelled, Azkaban, just now, it was a magnitude 8 earthquake. It's level 12 now. No, grade 18. Gryffindor's sword. In the legends circulating at Hogwarts. Only those with good intentions and courage can be pulled out. A little wizard who directly assigned the sorting hat to Azkaban was pulled out. It's not magic at all. The sorting hat is also confused. Oops, I was terrified just now and didn't get caught. Dot dot dot. Professor, Kyle frowned. He recognized the origin of the sword. Ha ha ha, let's see who dares to say that he is not a kind little wizard in the future. Son, I think it is destiny that since you have drawn Gryffindor's sword, he is yours. I hope you can make good use of him. 
Dumbledore looked relieved. Sure enough, his vision is still very accurate. Kyle is a kid with good intentions. Gryffindor House will soon have a new member. Maybe it will help his savior training plan. There are still a lot of people waiting behind, my child, let's get sorted. After speaking, Dumbledore returned to the teaching desk and sat down with a smile. Snape breathed a sigh of relief when no one else was looking. Very good, looks like this Kyle is going to Gryffindor Academy. With this blood demon around, Slytherin's house cup will be back for another year. Okay, Professor. Kyle put the hat on his head. Slytherin, the sorting hat yelled without thinking too much. Whatever the Gryffindor sword, such an evil man. Slytherins, must go to Slytherin Academy. Dumbledore, Snape, no, assign a young wizard with a Gryffindor sword drawn to Slytherin house. Isn't this too hasty? Chapter 11, go to the Slytherin table. It is different from the attitude of welcoming new students before. All the Slytherins were indifferent to Kyle joining. These little snakes, most of whom came from pureblood families, didn't remember Kyle being there at past pureblood family gatherings. In fact, Kyle's deeds are only circulated in a small circle among the upper echelons of the magic world. No one dared to announce it. Needless to say, the Daily Prophet is a politically oriented newspaper. Just ignore Kyle, for fear of causing panic. On the contrary, Several newspapers or magazines that did not sell well in the wizarding world reported the deeds of the blood demon in Nocturne Alley. It's just that the description is too exaggerated and the audience is too small. The heat hasn't come up yet. Those readers' attention was diverted by the gossip about one wizard's husband being snatched away by another wizard. Soon, the sorting ceremony was over. All newly enrolled young wizards are assigned to their respective colleges. Dumbledore stood up. Welcome everyone to Hogwarts to start a new school year. Before the banquet begins, I want to say a few words. That is, fool, sneeze, scum, twist. Thank you all. After a few confused words, countless delicacies appeared on the table. The little wizards who were already hungry couldn't wait to start eating flowers. After dinner, after listening to Dumbledore babble about a bunch of Hogwarts rules, and listened to the twins sing the school song to the tune of the funeral march. The little wizards of the four colleges went back to their dormitories. The Slytherin sleeping quarters are located in the basement of the castle. Damp and dark, through the ceiling of the common room, you can even see the scene in the Black Lake. Okay, is everyone here? Old Bat Snape was already waiting in the common room. Impatient, especially after seeing Kyle who is so leisurely. The mood is even worse. Draw a circle on the ground with the wand. Miss Farley, the rest will be up to you to host. Yes, Gemma Farley, the female prefect of the fifth grade, stood up after hearing the words. Guys, I think you should have heard about it from your parents before you entered school. We Slytherins have always practiced the hidden prefect system. Each grade has a prefect who is responsible for managing the students in his grade. Although this kind of prefect will not be recognized by the school, he can have his own independent dormitory. Gemma Farley looked around, especially the young wizards who had just entered school. Then, let's start with first grade. Students who want to run for first-year hidden seniors, please stand in the circle. The voice just fell. Malfoy immediately stepped into the circle, followed by his two followers. Immediately after, Theodore Knott and more. Scattered and a dozen or so people stood in the circle. In the end even Pansy Parkinson stood into the circle. Ambitious, shrewd, honor-oriented, judging the situation, playing it safe, and winning first. This is a Slytherin tradition. In the face of honor, no little wizard from a pure blood family would shrink back. Basically all freshmen came to the circle. Kyle thought for a while, and also stood in the circle. It doesn't matter what prefect is not. He had a long list of plans to do before coming to Hogwarts. Too busy to be busy, who cares about managing others? But a separate bedroom is still very convenient. Okay, I announce, the selection begins. Seeing that no one came in again, the female prefect, Gemma Farley, announced the start of the ceremony simply and neatly. As soon as the words fell, everyone in the circle focused their attention on Kyle. I don't know why the sorting hat put you in Slytherin. However, here is the world of pure blood. With a helper by his side, Draco Malfoy felt like he could do it again. He raised his chin slightly, with a haughty expression. 
The other first-year snakes also held their wands and surrounded Kyle indistinctly. Have to. Being excluded, Kyle touched the two Pokémon on his shoulders, signaling them to go to the side to rest first. With a sunny smile on his face, he took out the wand that he snatched from some unlucky dark wizard in Nocturne Alley. With his level of enchantment, this ordinary wand does and doesn't hold it. There is a difference, but not much. More of a cover-up. It's just a small scene. At most one time in Nocturne Alley, he was besieged by 30 or 40 dark wizards. Has a wealth of coping experience. Too lazy to talk nonsense. The starting hand is a fluorescent flash that casts silently. Increase the output of magic power, directly forming a blinding effect similar to Sun Fist. This trick can be said to be tried and tested. Just this time. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E Under the blessing of the newly acquired talent, Heart of Black Magic. Black Magic or a plus layer. The dazzling white light immediately turned into oily green. This is something Kyle didn't expect. In the entire magic world, there is only one magic that can produce this kind of light. Avada Kedavra. Killing Curse. As for the effect you asked. Let's put it this way. The moment I saw the green light emerge from Kyle's wand, two of the surrounding Slytherin snakes were stunned on the spot, and three were scared to pee. The rest of the legs also started to tremble. No. Just a small first-year hidden senior selection, you start with the unforgivable curse. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot. More than a dozen treasure chests were burst out. The special effects can be said to be directly full. The old bat was also taken aback when he saw the green light. Intel. After seeing the magic effect clearly. The whole person was speechless. He can also change the effect of this, luminescent curse. The issue is, he couldn't figure it out. How boring does a person have to be to change luminosity to this green light effect? Just to scare, but in terms of Kyle's record, this competition should have been doomed long ago. 11 years old, proficient in silent casting. This talent is even more terrifying than Voldemort back then. The old bat turned and left the common room directly. He needed to go talk to Dumbledore again. Dot dot dot. No, this is not the killing curse. After a while, Malfoy also reacted. A feeling of being cheated and humiliated came to my heart. I never said it was a killing curse. Kyle shrugged. The wand twirled gracefully in a circle in his hand. He pointed at Malfoy casually. LV8 level, do you weapon? With the blessing of black magic special effects, the spellcasting effect changes from white light to dark and hidden. Before Malfoy could react, a strong force came, and he was knocked out. Disarm you. Disarm you. Disarm you. Another series of spells were released. All the competitors were knocked out of the circle, except Pansy Parkinson, who was so frightened that he couldn't hold his wand firmly. Temporarily let go by Kyle. Kyle glanced around at the senior Slytherins who were watching. Listen, I know some of you here. No, it should be said that the vast majority of people can't understand me. But so what? I just like the way you can't understand me, and you can't beat me. You should be thankful that there is Dumbledore at Hogwarts. I can't do anything to you. But I don't think you can stay at Hogwarts forever. Kyle didn't have time for school bullying with these little snakes. Hit one punch to avoid a hundred punches. With a wave of the wand. The books on the shelves in the common room turned into black snakes. It meandered and crawled to Malfoy and the person who just shot. Wrap them up and tie them up, then climb up the wall and up to the ceiling. Dropped everyone to the ceiling. Originally Kyle was just going to turn into a rope and control it with a levitation spell. But, Heart of the Dark Arts, worked again. The rope is directly added with the, venomous snake, skin. So here comes the problem. What's it like to be entwined by a poisonous snake with a letter on your face? The end result is, there was a patter of yellow rain on the ceiling. I was scared to pee for more. Kyle, don't take it too far, you're just a freshman. Slytherin's Quidditch captain, Marcus, couldn't stand it. It was like punching Slytherin in the face again. You have a problem. Kyle tilted his head. 
Well, maybe you should think about what your opinion is. One turn of the wand. Disarm you. Marcus had already taken out his wand in advance and was ready to do it. But too fast. There was no reaction at all, just like Malfoy was knocked out. The wand spilled and lost its fighting power. A venomous snake coiled around. Hanging member plus one from the ceiling. This time all the little snakes were restrained. No one dared to meet Kyle's eyes anymore. Marcus is a fourth grade student. The strength is not comparable to that of a young wizard who has just entered school and has not had time to learn. Then it's your turn, Miss Parkinson. Kyle came up to a trembling pansy Parkinson. Lift its chin slightly with the wand. Looks like a big villain. Oh no, like a personable, handsome noble son. The little lowly is pretty cute. Just a little grumpy. With the wand pointed at his chin, an unnatural flush flashed across Pansy's face. Don't worry, Miss Parkinson, I won't do anything to women for no reason. As he spoke, another black poisonous snake crawled over. How about you hang yourself up? Pansy is dumbfounded. Is this what you said you wouldn't do anything to a woman? Still let me do it myself. Dot dot dot. Listen, my magic will expire at sunrise tomorrow morning. After treating Pensy, equally, Kyle put away his wand and walked up to a group of senior snakes with his hands behind his back. It's like a patrolling leader. With the most gentle expression, said the most threatening words. Before that, if anyone dares to put them down, I'll hang him up. The little snakes can't figure out Kyle's strength now, and no one wants to be the leader. Examine moderately, seek advantages and avoid disadvantages. This is the nature of little snakes. Seeing that no one dared to answer, Kyle nodded in satisfaction. Senior Farley, where is my separate dormitory? Ah, oh, the one at the end of the corridor to the right. Gemma Farley was taken aback when her name was called. Thanks, thanking him politely, Kyle played with his wand and walked towards his bedroom. Everyone behind was silent for a long time. Is this really just a first-year freshman? This is too cruel, right? Ding. It is detected that the host has collected a large number of treasure chests. Treasure box synthesis function activated. Ten low-level treasure chests can be merged into one higher-level treasure chest. Back in the dormitory, a system notification sounded in Kyle's mind suddenly. Can the treasure chest be merged? System, list my attributes. Emotional treasure box system. Host, Kyle. Race, human old six. Age, 11 years old. Talent, Heart of Black Magic, Affinity for Fantastic Beasts. Magic, Killing Curse Max, Crucitus Curse Max, Imperious Curse Max, Eliminate Weapons LV8, Stunning Ground LV8, Armor Protection LV8, etc. Pets, Sun Elf, Moon Elf, Winged Bat. Own Treasure Chests, Diamond Treasure Chest X2, Gold Treasure Chest X6, Silver Treasure Chest X31, Bronze Treasure Chest X126. There are a total of 165 treasure chests. This is just a day's harvest. Although most of them are low level, nothing good can be opened. But it's different with the synthesis system. System, automatically synthesize treasure chests. Ding. 120 bronze treasure chests are synthesized into 12 silver treasure chests. The current number of silver treasure chests is 43. The 40 silver treasure chests are collectively called 4 gold treasure chests, and the current number of gold treasure chests is 10. 10 golden treasure chests are synthesized into 1 diamond treasure chest, the current number of diamond treasure chests is 3. 3 diamond treasure chests, Kyle's eyes sparkled with excitement. Generally speaking, the world of Harry Potter does not have a clear division of power. But according to the 5 levels of treasure chests, Kyle still made a rough division by himself. The bronze treasure chest corresponds to the little wizard, who has not yet graduated from Hogwarts. The silver treasure chest corresponds to ordinary adult wizards. The golden treasure chest corresponds to the elite among adult wizards, such as Aurors from the Ministry of Magic, or professors from Hogwarts College. As for the diamond chest, corresponding to the Dean level figure, the last supreme treasure chest corresponds to legendary wizards like Old Dengtu, Voldemort, and Grindelwald. Of course, this is just a rough division. Because the battle between wizards depends on the field of expertise, etc., you can never simply look at the level. After rubbing his hands, Kyle, feeling uneasy, ran to the bathroom to wash his face again. 
After washing his handsome face white, he returned to the bed. System, open three diamond treasure chests. Ding. Congratulations to the host for opening the diamond treasure chest and gaining the talent, mastery of herbal medicine. Ding. Congratulations to the host for opening the diamond treasure chest and gaining the talent, mastery of potions. Ding. Congratulations to the host for opening the diamond treasure chest and obtaining the treasure, the source of magic power. Three prompts sounded in succession. Herbology talent. You are a natural master of herbalism, no matter what herbal medicine is in front of you, you will quickly understand its medicinal properties and growth habits. Talent in potions. You are a natural master of potions, no matter what potion formula is in front of you, you will quickly master it and improve it proficiently. Looking at the two prompts in front of him, Kyle fell into deep thought. How to say, the system seems a bit lazy. It is more or less suspected of copying and pasting and then modifying keywords. Of course, this does not affect the awesomeness of these two talents. Every master of potions has its own unique status in the wizarding world. It is the guest of honor that all forces desire. Just refer to Snape. In the first volume, Voldemort couldn't guess that Snape betrayed. Of course I guessed it. But after his resurrection, he still pretended he didn't know anything and chose to use Snape. And the only one who can restrain the master of potion science is the master of herbology. Just like the students of Slytherin only dare to talk about Hufflepuff's little badger verbally, but dare not actually bully him. Why, Professor Sprout, the dean of Hufflepuff, is a master of herbalism. If you dare to bully my students, I will cut off your source of herbs. Now that Kyle has both talents, it's only a matter of time before he becomes a master. As for the final source of magic power, it is even more powerful. Magic Power Source it can store three times the total amount of magic power of the host, and release it when needed, and increase the recovery speed of the host's magic power by ten times. It is a treasure with sky-blue vertical pupils, worn on the forehead. Normally, it will automatically hide its body shape, and it will appear when it is used. A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T -E -E Kyle put the source of magic power on his forehead and it automatically merged into one. Then I ran to the bathroom and looked in the mirror. Um, very good. Starting today, please call me. Kyle Tsunade Mephisto. Isn't this just a disguised by how technique? Kyle had used a lot of magic before in Nocturne Alley. His total magical power now is roughly equivalent to that of an elite wizard who is stronger than an adult wizard. If you count three times the magic power, that must be able to reach the Dean level of the old bat. Plus the three unforgivable curses at full level. Even fighting Dumbledore, Kyle also has full confidence. I will definitely be able to spit blood all over his face. Just so proud. Late at night, Kyle secretly opened the bedroom door. The little snakes have all fallen asleep peacefully. If there is anything about Hogwarts that attracts Kyle the most, the first one must be the treasure chest drawn from the characters in the plot. Then the second one is the huge book reserve in the library especially the high-end magic knowledge in the restricted area. Judging from Kyle's previous Western fantasy system, to a certain extent, the pure blood theory supported by pure blood families is correct in a certain sense. Wizards in the world of Harry Potter are more like warlocks. Power comes from blood, and children have magical powers. It just doesn't matter whether it's a wizard or a warlock. A true wizard, tracing back to the root of his power, should be knowledge rather than rough pursuit of more powerful spells or more powerful magic. As soon as he came to the common room, Kyle saw a pair of deep eyes staring at him quietly. Good evening, Miss Parkinson. Kyle greeted like a gentleman. Of course, if one ignores the fact that the two are in the same background at this time. There are more than a dozen little wizards hanging from the ceiling, even the most courageous people will be terrified when they see this scene suddenly. After a day of exhaustion and fright, these little snakes have already passed out. Only Pan she didn't know why he was still awake, and an unnatural flush appeared on his face under the moonlight. To be honest, if you little wizards go to Nocturne Alley and ask about me, you will know what kind of person I am. I believe that Miss Parkinson is a smart person who knows what to say and what not to say, right? I'm a guy who really doesn't like to take a shot at a lady. Kyle fiddled with his wand, raised it slightly, and pointed at Pansy. The threat between words is self-evident. Pansy didn't speak, but turned her head away. 
The legs under the magic robe were unconsciously entangled. Ding. Excitement detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. A beep sounded in Kyle's head. Very good. Another golden treasure chest has arrived. Um, etc. Excited. There seems to be something wrong. Glancing at Pansy, Kyle decided it was better to get down to business first. Dot dot dot. The night watchman at Hogwarts is called Filch, and he's a squib, someone who can't use magic. But he has a cat called Mrs. Norris. As long as you help me get Mrs. Norris, we can come and go freely in the castle at night, understand? In the corridor, Kyle gave instructions to the two Pokemon on his shoulders. Whether it is Sun Eevee or Moon Eevee, they all look similar to cats. Gorgeous and noble, sure to win the favor of the cat named Mrs. Norris. This is called pet socialization. Ha, Sun Ibrahimovic let out a soft cry. Although Pokemon can't speak, as their master, Kyle can understand the meaning expressed in their calls. No problem, leave it to me. Dot dot dot, meow, just as he was talking, a cat meowed suddenly from the corner. A scrawny cat with dull gray fur appears. It was Mrs. Norris that Kyle was talking about just now. Fine, go, Sun Eevee, Moon Eevee. Kyle snapped his fingers. With a confident smile on your face. With the looks of these two Ibrahimovic, there is no cat they can't handle. The two Ibrahimovic looked at each other and rushed forward. Surrender and charge. A flash of lightning. In the next second, two skills were released. Mrs. Luo Lisi was first knocked into the air by the son Ibrahimovic, and then slammed to the ground by the moon Ibrahimovic's paw. Before he could see what was going on, he was directly knocked out. The smile on Kyle's face froze instantly. I want you to settle it, not this kind of settlement. Do you understand? Oh, look, what has my lady Norris discovered? It must be a little wizard who travels at night, right? The room leak happened to be raining overnight, and at this moment, the sound of heavy footsteps came from the corner. With dim lights, Filch came over with an old oil lamp. A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Norris, what's wrong with you? When she saw Mrs. Norris on the ground, Filch was instantly jealous. Well, Mr. Filch, I think I can explain, Kyle said weakly. Just about to say, I just saw a black shadow attack Mrs. Luo Lisi. I saw two Ibrahimovic looked at each other. Son Ibrahimovic, hey, what about this? Moon Evie, hey, go, settle him. Filch looked up, ready to see who had hurt his beloved Mrs. Norris. I saw two, cats, rushing over. Surrender and charge. Roar of evil. After two skills. The coma number plus one. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bronze treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Listen to the system beep. Kyle felt like his teeth were hurting. Dude, you beat the castle night watchman on the first day of school. Ha. Ha. The two Eevees walked gracefully. Stepped over to Kyle and looked up. An expression of invitation. Kyle look at these two Eevee. Look at Filch who was knocked out again. Immediately turn around and leave. Strange, whose cat is this? It's too much to run around in the castle without sleeping at night. Go back and find their master, I have to talk about him. Dot dot dot. Library. Restricted area. In previous lives, Many readers had a misunderstanding of the restricted area, thinking that everything placed here was black magic. In fact, what is placed here is some high-end magic knowledge that young wizards cannot master. Black magic is only part of it. Of course, now most of the dangerous black magic has been placed in his office by Lao Dengtu to take care of it. This is a real world with extraordinary power. The secrets contained in it are far from being as simple as the original seven books. Wizards are the mainstream, but not all. In addition to the wizard power system, Kyle also encountered quite a few others during his time in Nocturne Alley. Let's not talk about werewolves and vampires that have been described in the original works. In addition, the Solomon sect, the Druid sect, the Demon Hunter, and the Holy See, which cannot be avoided when mentioning wizards. The inheritance of extraordinary power systems, large and small, is hidden in every hidden corner of the world. So learning is really necessary. Pick up a copy of Analysis of High-End Black Magic.
humming a little song softly along the way, looking at the rows of bookshelves. Kyle knew the truth that he couldn't chew more than he could chew, so he was about to take two more books and go back to the dormitory to read slowly. Then I saw old Dengtu in pink pajamas, eyes on each other. The whole world seemed to freeze. Dot dot dot. Dumbledore's mind was in a mess today. Kyle's talent reminded him of his former student Voldemort. But not with Voldemort, Kyle is the one who can draw the sword of Gryffindor. There must be no lack of good qualities of kindness and courage in the heart. It's just been missed once already, and Dumbledore was terrified of going wrong again this time. For Kyle's training and guidance, we must be cautious. Older people always like to recall the past when they have nothing to do. So he came to the restricted area where Voldemort learned magic secretly. Result, do whatever you want. As soon as the front foot arrived, I heard footsteps behind me. Kyle appeared with a book of analysis of high-end black arts, humming a ditty. Dot dot dot. Kyle looked at the magic book that he just took out and hadn't opened yet. Looking at Dumbledore in front of him again. Also dumbfounded. No, it's late at night, you bad old man can't sleep well in the principal's office. Is it really appropriate to run around in a pink pajamas? So here comes the problem. What should I do if the principal catches me while visiting the restricted area at night? Waiting online, very urgent. Dot dot dot. Kyle, to be honest, seeing you here is not a. Um, I mean maybe we should talk. Dumbledore sighed. Educating Kyle has a long way to go. Snapped. Kyle threw the analysis of advanced dark arts directly into Dumbledore's hand and looked at old Dang excitedly. At this moment, the desire to survive was immediately full. Professor, are you also looking for books? Can you tell me where the book about the Patronus charm is? I've been looking for it for a long time. Oh, by the way, there is also this magic book. I opened it by accident just now and found that it seems to have an evil power. Merlin, this is Hogwarts. There are so many kind-hearted little wizards like me. How can you put such a dangerous book in the library? It's too much, I have to protest. This is extremely irresponsible behavior towards our students. Dumbledore opened his mouth. Once again, there is a feeling that the brain is not enough. The amount of information is a bit large. As kind as you. Still suing. Inexplicably, he thought of the sorting ceremony before. Old Dang was numb all over. No, how do you manage to cast yourself as a victim every time? Ding. Shock detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. But when he heard Kyle say that he was looking for the Patronus charm, old Deng felt a little relieved. Don't care if it's true or not. Then let's start with the Patronus charm. Nothing brings out the good side of a person like this spell. Well, boy, this is a restricted area, and Hogwarts students can only enter with the permission of the professor. Forget it this time, let's not make an example. If you want to learn the Patronus charm, maybe I can help you. As Dumbledore spoke, he motioned for Kyle to follow. The two walked and chatted. Are these two cats your pets? I have to say, this is the most beautiful cat I have ever seen. Old Dengtu is a senior educator. He knows that educating students cannot be blindly forced. Otherwise, students will have a rebellious and rebellious psychology. It is the correct way of education to mingle with students first. So he chose to start the conversation with Kyle's two magical animals. Instill the right ideas in him. Professor, their name is Ibrahimovic. This one is called Sun Eevee, and that one is called Moon Eevee. Kyle pointed to the two Pokemon on his shoulders and introduced old Dengtu. Ibrahimovic, that's a really good name. Since they are named after the sun and the moon, they must have some unique abilities. Of course, Sun Ibrahimovic can perceive weather changes in people's hearts, and Moon Ibrahimovic will be extra energetic at night. Dot dot dot. Sounds great. Actually, I also have a pet, Fox, he is a phoenix, and I treat him like a family member. I have a chance to introduce you. But Professor, I have been very distressed. Kyle frowned, making a distressed expression. What's wrong? Can you tell me if it's convenient? because they all have these special abilities, and they are usually very naughty. I'm always worried that they will one day do something distressing to someone else. You know, there are many little wizards in Hogwarts. Hearing this, 
Dumbledore smiled unconsciously. He found another spark in Kyle's personality. That is to care about classmates. Rumors can't be trusted. The environment can affect a person's growth. Living in an environment like Nocturne Alley, people will be forced to do something to protect themselves. But if in the friendly environment of Hogwarts. Look, Kyle, who was dubbed the Blood Demon by the Ministry of Magic, knew he was thinking of his classmates from the first day he came to school. This is really good news. It's okay, such a cute Ibrahimovic, I believe everyone will like him, even if there are some pranks, it doesn't hurt. Like the Gryffindor twins, all the professors are a pain in the ass, but everyone loves them. I think Ibrahimovic is the same. Dumbledore's genial reassurance reassured Kyle. Professor, I think you were right. Sun Evie and Moon Evie just wanted to play a joke on Mr. Filch. He actually fainted directly. Professor Dumbledore, the great white wizard, said it all, no one would care about Evie's jokes. I suspect Mr. Filch is trying to blackmail me. Kyle looked angry. This is simply too much. Well, what you said. Old Dang subconsciously nodded. Then suddenly realized that something seemed wrong, and the whole person was in a mess. Etc. Filch passed out. Are you sure you're joking? I'm afraid he was knocked out, right? Now he wanted to slap himself. God the great white wizard Dumbledore once said. What a tall hat. Of course, Professor, I also think Sun Evie and Moon Evie have gone too far. Why don't you punish them? It's a bit suspenseful to see him get away with it. Without saying a word, Kyle picked up the two Evie from his shoulders and handed them to Dumbledore. Then he looked at Lao Dang's head with big, innocent, eyes. Dumbledore looked at the two loveless Evie. Everyone was silent. Good guy, how did you manage to get rid of the responsibility directly? Dot dot dot. Ding. Shock detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Okay, I want to postpone learning the Patronus charm for a while. I need to take Mr. Filch to the school infirmary first. While talking, the two came to the underground corridor. That is, crime scene. Looking at the unconscious Filch and Mrs. Norris. Dumbledore best twitched. I just thought about enlightening this brat just because I couldn't think about it. Sometimes it's too late. You need to go to rest and get enough sleep, so that you can better prepare for tomorrow's class. If you want, after class tomorrow, you can come to me before dinner. Old Dengtu didn't want to give Kyle any ideological education tonight. Thoughts were disjointed. Okay, Professor, don't worry, I will definitely educate these two Ibrahimovic. Kyle showed his white teeth obediently. Tell the truth this time. Kyle felt that he really needed to educate the two of them how to correctly use their advantages to get along with the cat. Next day, early morning, Dumbledore, it was just dawn and the little wizard hadn't gotten up yet. The door to the principal's office was opened. Snape walked in wearing his eternal black cloak. At this moment, Dumbledore looked sleepy and was drinking black tea. He barely slept all night. Listen, it's a lot worse than you think. Snape's tone was bad as soon as he came up. You can't imagine what happened last night. That Kyle, the famous blood demon in Nocturne Alley, last night he hung a dozen new Slytherin students from the ceiling and hung them like that all night. Really? Did anyone get hurt? Dumbledore asked, looking up. No, but you have to know that his nature is evil, which cannot be changed. Now those students are frightened, and the parents of the students don't know yet, if. Snape tried his best to say something else. But Dumbledore waved his hand. It's normal for students to have conflicts, Severus, as teachers, we should find a way to adjust. Instead of directly defining students as evil at every turn. This is not what a teacher should do. Heard this before. Dumbledore must be careful. But now, after interacting with Kyle last night, Dumbledore felt like he was more receptive to certain things. You must know that Filch is still in a coma in the school infirmary and hasn't woken up yet. Just being frightened. What is this? Look, Kyle was a good kid who knew what to do. Well, what I want to say is that Filch was also accidentally knocked unconscious by Kyle's pet last night. The child has already done a deep self-criticism with me. Facing Snape's sullen gaze, Dumbledore had to back down. A nice word for Kyle by the way. Filch, how dare he attack the janitor? The haughty old bat naturally despised Filch's squib. But a student attacking a staff member. 
This is definitely a vicious event. You actually only asked him to do a self-criticism for such a big matter. Confronted by Snape, Old Dang was stunned. Thinking about it carefully, Kyle doesn't seem to have even done a self-criticism. He just put all the responsibility on his two pets. But of course it's impossible to say that. Of course it's not just a simple review. Dumbledore looked serious. I'll also deduct 50 points from Slytherin for his mistake. I believe this will definitely make him a warning. The voice fell. Snape instantly felt his blood pressure soar. He has only two obsessions in his life. One is Lily. One is the Slytherin House Cup. Points deducted. Or 50. No, dare I come to find you early in the morning. Just to make your Slytherin points deducted into negative numbers before school starts. Are you punishing him or me? He has a feeling of being targeted. Well, Severus, we should give those little wizards who made mistakes a chance. Dumbledore thought he had handled it perfectly. He took another sip of black tea leisurely. Snort. Snape snorted coldly, waved his cloak, turned and left. Give him a chance. Why don't you say give me a chance? Why did you get hurt in the end? Dot dot dot. Kyle here. I went back last night and taught the two Ibrahimovic overnight. Finally teach them how to use their strengths to socialize. Then sleep until dawn. Probably unwilling to meet Kyle, the common room was empty. The little snakes who hung from the ceiling all night last night have been put down by the senior little snakes after their magic expired. Came to the castle auditorium alone. There are various English breakfasts on the long table. Seeing Kyle approaching, the noisy Slytherin table suddenly became quiet. Some small snakes started to leave early. To express rejection of Kyle at the cost of starvation. Kyle didn't take it seriously either, and ate his breakfast on his own. Joke. He is a generous man. Will you hold grudges because of this? Draco Malfoy was the first to go just now. The second to go was Slytherin's Quidditch captain, Marcus Flint. From the same pure blood family as the Auror captain who came to warn him at three quarters of the station yesterday. The first class of school is Transfiguration. Slytherin with Gryffindor. The classroom for Transfiguration is on the first floor. When Kyle walked into the classroom, most of the little wizards were already sitting in their seats waiting for class. No one noticed a cute orange cat squatting on the podium. Kyle knew it was Professor McGonagall, a rare animagus. This can be regarded as establishing the curiosity and yearning for the transfiguration in the little wizards at the beginning of the first lesson. It may also mean a little test. See if any little wizard can recognize her animagus. Unfortunately, looking at the noisy class, no one would guess that this orange cat is their teacher in this class. Kyle tidied up his appearance and came to the podium politely. He wanted to impress Professor McGonagall, just about to bend down and bow slightly. I felt a sudden lightness on my shoulder. The two Ibrahimovic jumped onto the podium lightly. First, he walked around the orange cat, curiously. Then son Ibrahimovic raised his head, and according to Kyle's teaching last night, he showed his most heroic side. And Moon Evie used his nose to smell the orange cat. This is a way for cats to strike up a conversation. It is also the prelude to courtship. That's all. From time to time, the two Ibrahimovic will throw one at Carl. I'm smart, quickly praise me, and other expressions. Bridge Bean Sacks, Kyle was almost scared out of his wits. I taught you something yesterday. It's for you to use it on Filch's cat. Not for my teacher, family members, who knows. Watching helplessly as my cat courts his teacher who is dozens of years old. What does it feel like? Ding. Anger detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. Dot dot dot. It's over. Barbecue. The diamond treasure chests have all been exploded. How angry is this? Dot dot dot. At this moment, there was a rush of footsteps outside the classroom. Harry Potter and Ronald Weasley ran into the classroom, panting. When I saw that there was no shadow of the teacher in the classroom. The two breathed a sigh of relief. It's finally here. If old McGonagall is here, his face will scare people to death. Ronald said happily. Kyle silently pushed away a little, making room in front of the podium. He didn't do that even in death. How to say, the effect of this sentence is like a person walking around a pile of powder kegs with a lighted torch. Still flashing first, 
otherwise, it would be bad to splash blood all over in a while. Hi, Kyle, good morning. Harry Potter saw Kyle and greeted him warmly. No matter how alienated he was by Kyle Slytherin. On the contrary, Ronald's attitude was much colder, and he didn't even say hello. Oh, these are your cats, they. They seem to be in heat. Where is this orange cat? Are there any wild cats in Hogwarts? Three sentences in a row, stepped on two minds. Worthy of being the famous savior. Kyle would like to call them the little killer duo. No, this is not my cat. Without thinking, Kyle just waved his hand and refused. Don't try to frame me. But I obviously saw it on the Hogwarts Express. Harry Potter looked puzzled. I said, these are not my cats, if you like, you can take them away. Is it cat? No, this is not. These are two tickets to heaven. Are you going to give them to me? Harry Potter was young and innocent. Did not think so much. Hearing this, I thought Kyle was going to give these two cats to him. When he was in Diagon Alley, he had seen the prices of these pet cats with magical animal blood. Besides Hagrid, Kyle is the second person who treats him so well. Don't mention how touched I was for a while. I'm moving. I saw the orange cat on the podium jumping forward suddenly. Then it turned into a witch with square glasses, black hair and a curly updo, and a dark green robe. His face was expressionless, or, as cold as an ice cube. Harry Potter and Ronald were completely shocked. Professor McGonagall, look at the anger on Professor McGonagall's face. Look at the two Ibrahimovic who are equally astonished. This moment, Harry Potter suddenly had a sense of the sinister feeling in people's hearts. He finally figured out why Kyle couldn't even take medicine for cats. Listen, Mr. Potter, and Mr. Weasley. I think I should turn one of you two into a pocket watch. This will at least ensure that one of you will be able to see the time and not be late. Professor McGonagall nearly forced the words through his teeth. And you, Mr. Kyle. I don't want to see these two cats in my class from now on, can it be done? Yes, Professor. Kyle also shivered. Let's not talk about strength. Just angry women. This is also really unprovoked. Let's start class now. Professor McGonagall first waved his wand to turn the podium into a pig and then back again. It drew cheers from the students. Everyone began to be curious about transfiguration. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous spell you teach at Hogwarts. Anyone who tries to misbehave in my class, I ask him out and never let him in again. I warned you. First of all, I want to talk about the most basic precautions of transfiguration, that is, Gamp's basic transfiguration law. After a long speech, Professor McGonagall distributed a match to everyone, and then began to guide the students to conduct experiments. Let's start with the simplest. You can try to turn this match into an embroidery needle. Imagine, the shape of an embroidery needle. The firmer your thoughts, the greater the success rate of transfiguration. Transfiguration has no fixed incantations, such as rapid transformation, or turning into a needle, as long as it can help you strengthen your faith. Dot dot dot, Kyle looked at the matches in front of him. His transfiguration wasn't great, but it also has the level of LV6. Just one level short of wandless casting. This metamorphosis, which turns matches into embroidery needles, is a piece of cake for him. It's just that Kyle suddenly thought, what would happen if the talent of, Heart of Black Magic, was combined with the transfiguration charm? Mr. Kyle, why haven't you started practicing yet? Professor McGonagall looked around. It finally landed on Kyle's desk. Stern expression. But he didn't take it out on Kyle because of the pre-class episode. Hearing the movement here, everyone's attention in the classroom was attracted. Malfoy had a gloating expression, ready to watch the show. And the little lowly Hermione had a slight worry in her eyes. Oh, Professor, that's easy for me. Kyle shrugged. Picked up the wand. He was about to mend his relationship with Professor McGonagall. Be good. Saying that, he threw the match into the air. One finger of the wand. Transform quickly. Next second. Thumb length matches suddenly changed drastically. It became a six or seven meters long. A huge, embroidery needle, as thick as two people hugging each other. The huge, embroidery needle, directly pierced the ceiling and led directly to the upstairs. The little wizards in the classroom were frightened dumbfounded. Dot dot dot, just above the transfiguration classroom is the school doctor's office. 
When school just started, most of the beds in the school clinic were empty. Only Filch, who had just woken up, was lying on one of the beds. Little Slytherin wizard, don't let me catch you again, I swear, I will make you pay. Filch would mutter about this on the hospital bed. I'm talking. Suddenly, I felt a roar below me. Didn't wait to figure out what happened. He was horrified to find himself getting closer and closer to the ceiling. Then, boom, Filch's face made a hard, intimate contact with the ceiling of the infirmary. Ding, fear detected. Ding, the treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a bronze treasure chest. Just at this time, the door of the school doctor's room was open. Mr. Filch, it's time to take your medicine. Madam Pomfrey, the school nurse, came in with a tray of medicines for Filch. Then, as soon as I entered the door, I saw the white metal penetrating from bottom to top in front of me. Suddenly fell into deep thought. Can anyone tell me where this thing came from? Ding, confusion detected. Ding, the treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Transfiguration classroom. Ding. Anger detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. A golden chest exploded from Professor McGonagall. Looking at the ceiling of the transfiguration classroom. It's the first day of the new school year. Professor McGonagall just feels his head buzzing. The blood pressure went off the charts. Mr. Kyle. Professor McGonagall forced Kyle's name through his teeth. Oh, Professor, I know, don't praise me, let alone give me points. Kyle stood up quickly with a big smile. He has already figured out the blessing law of this, heart of black magic. In layman's terms, they are all blessings that are good for him. For example this time, a bronze treasure chest, a silver treasure chest, and a gold treasure chest were recorded. The system is a good system. Talent is also a good talent. Nothing else, maybe just a bit of a useless host. I still want to praise you and give you extra points. If there are special effects, you can definitely see the flames behind Professor McGonagall rushing up. Of course, you see, I overfulfilled your class assignment. This embroidery needle is so perfect. Not only thick, but also long. This is all because of your good education. To be honest, I don't usually have such a high level of transfiguration, it's all because after receiving your teaching just now. Okay, sit down, Mr. Kyle. Professor McGonagall took a deep breath. It was hard to calm down the feeling of dizziness in the brain. The old lady almost passed away because of a cerebral hemorrhage. Good guy, I taught, such a big scapegoat directly fell on himself. I think your transfiguration still needs more practice. Yes, Professor, I understand. Kyle grinned. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot. The next half class. Kyle went toe to toe with the transfiguration. Some say modern magic. To put it bluntly, it is the power of emotions. Whether it is an active spell or a passive talent, you cannot escape your inner emotions. When you cast a spell, what you think in your heart will be what the final result will be. Kyle scoffed at that. Nonsense, according to this theory. Doesn't the curse special effects that appear with the talent, heart of black magic, mean that deep down in his heart he wants to cause destruction? Deliberately in order to earn the emotional treasure chest. How can it be? He is a kind blood demon in Nocturne Alley. After pondering half the class, Kyle felt that his condition was about the same. Dot dot dot. Look, well done. Miss Granger has been able to turn a length of a match into a needle point. I'll give Gryffindor a point. At this moment, Professor McGonagall, who had been patrolling the classroom, suddenly yelled. Little lowly Hermione was in the seat next to her. His face was flushed with excitement. So is there anyone else who can change the matches? After speaking, Professor McGonagall looked around the classroom expectantly. Professor, I think I can try again. Kyle raised his hand. Professor McGonagall showed some hesitation. Mr. Kyle, are you sure? Of course, this time I will be able to turn the match into a needle, a normal needle. Kyle was full of confidence. He's the blood demon in Nocturne Alley. King recognized by the Dementors of Azkaban. 
What's so hard about a little transfiguration? Very well, then let's watch Mr. Kyle's performance. Professor McGonagall clapped his hands. The eyes of all the little wizards in the classroom were on Kyle. Quick transformation. A flick of the wand. A faint mist appeared in the classroom. The cold breath began to spread. Looking at the figure in the mist, all the little wizard's eyes became terrified. Dementor. Dementor. Ronald opened his mouth wide. Little children in wizarding families have seen such guards of Azkaban. Anyone who is kissed by a Dementor will die. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bronze treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bronze treasure chest. Dot dot dot. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot. More than a dozen emotional treasure chests were burst out. Professor McGonagall's face gradually darkened. That's what you said, sure. Let you turn matches into needles, where did this dementor come from? Kyle was also slightly taken aback. Made, very good. What the hell do you want dementors for? Dot dot dot. Professor, did you see? I succeeded, Kyle said suddenly excitedly. In a word, Professor McGonagall broke the defense directly. How did you know you were successful? Look, the embroidery needle that this Dementor is holding. Looking in the direction Kyle was pointing, he saw the Dementor clasped his hands together. It's really holding an embroidery needle. Professor McGonagall, that makes sense. Ding, depression detected. Ding, the treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Dot dot dot, Professor you don't need to add points to me. Really, I am very low-key and humble. Even you don't even have to tell me your praise. In the classroom, Kyle's voice faded away. Boom. Before he finished speaking, Professor McGonagall took the back collar and put it outside the door. Then the door was closed. Don't throw the bear boy out. Definitely not going to be able to take this class. Dot dot dot. Kyle, no, maybe I should call you Lord Mephisto. Just at this time, a little witch happened to pass by the corridor. Curly chestnut hair, blue eyes. A few years older than Kyle looks, giving people a sense of elegance and beauty. It was Ravenclaw's fourth grader, Penelope Clearwater. When seeing Kyle, Penelope's eyes flashed with excitement. On the eve of the start of school three years ago, Penelope went shopping alone in Diagon Alley, but because he mispronounced the place name, he was sent to Nocturne Alley by Flo fans. Not surprisingly, as soon as he walked out of Bojenbach Antique Shop, he was directly targeted by the Black Wizard. In Nocturne Alley, underage wizards with magical talents are the most in-demand goods. Several Black Wizards surrounded Penelo in the center, and began to argue about how to divide up this, windfall fortune. Fortunately, Kyle showed up at this time. She couldn't remember the appearance of the Black Wizards back then. I only remember the fiery fire that filled the sky. Besides, the little boy who was obviously several years younger than himself sent himself to the junction of Nocturne Alley and Diagon Alley. That sentence that you said coolly. Please call me Lord Mephisto from now on. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.